with uh, it's a band I have since five years, four years, together with drummer Stefan Kruger. We've known each other since 1988, when we both were in school, and we always had this idea of starting a band with two drummers. So this is what it turned out to be. Uh, after this, Nick de Bruyne and Thomas Paul and Anton Goudsmit, they're going to do a workshop about trio playing, the art of playing trio. And after that, Jordi Geuens and Erik Rademakers will finish in the Grote Zaal. And at, I think, 7.30, the Greyheads will play on stage. So we'd like to start off. Um, first, I would like to introduce the band. That's Mr. Anton Goudsmit on guitar. That's Mr. Jasper Blom, the professor on tenor saxophone. Maarten Hogenhuis on alto saxophone. Ravel Fanoli on guitar. Sean Fasciani on bass and Moog. Stefan Kruger, my name is Jos Potoka. Uh, we'd like to start off with a song. It's called What Hot's the Time. It's a, a song written by Stefan Kruger. And we're going to play it first. And then if you have any questions, don't hesitate. And we will talk about what the hell we're doing on stage. So enjoy. See you later. Thank you. 
you are making or writing, first we talked about the band, to set up a band, you know, you have to find nice people. So another thing when I would talk about setting up a band, it's very, very, very important that you can learn from the other musician you ask to play with. And that you can shine through the other musician. There's a very funny story about Dave Liebman. Everybody knows Dave Liebman? The tenor player who's playing with Miles. He asked to Miles, 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 where, 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 why do you ask me in your band? And Miles answered, yeah, because you can play very fast and you are white. <laughs> why? Yeah, because then I can be shining as a black man and play nothing. So that's why it worked for a lot of years. And that is the same in this band. So we, on purpose, ask the musicians to, to have their own creativity in the band. You, I can learn from him, I can learn from everybody in the band. Sometimes you have a quartet and you say, you hire people, but you, we don't want this, it's equal. And that is, I think, very important because then you can create. Really, you can create. Um, I was talking about compositions, compositions, writing. Maybe you talk something about the bubble outside. Yeah, that's that's my point now. Yes, yes. When you write something, try to get an idea, not musical, but maybe you want to learn something. A lot of tunes, for example, bebop are they existed because they want to have they had an idea how to play this this kind of, so they went sitting down and studied for themselves and wrote tunes so it's a kind of study sometimes uh, to write a piece this first piece we did is a piece in five it's called bohaha hot's the time one two three four five but it's not in five because i don't think in five so the question for me was to play, to make a composition what is not in five, but it's in five, but you don't think five. In general, I don't count. I don't, uh, I don't, I want to hear the melody or a rhythmic structure and the rhythmic, the rhythmic structure becomes in seven or becomes in five or becomes in four or becomes in three. So you have to try to learn for yourself that you see everything musical and not as a time frame. So, even when I try to count in some pieces, I get out of the groove. I lose it. You know? This tune, this five tune, so I had this idea, you know, it's five clave, very simple, pop, 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 so okay. No. And then I was thinking, okay, how can I use that for Joost? How can I try to get there to get a groove for Joost? So I think he's a busy drummer, so I make a groove, cook, cook, cut, cook, cook, cut, cook, cut, cut, cook. Yeah. It's uh, it's that's it's cook. Yo, can okay, I play your groove? Yes, sir. That's his groove. And, and okay, play one, two, three, four. Two. Okay. So because. When I double this, it gets very messy. So I go total in the other way. So I try to play the five clave to keep it together and then to play the half tone. Then this five thing was interesting, everybody plays the five hip-hop thing now. I want to make the composition where you change the feel. 
So you change the view from five, actually turn go, 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 go on, on, off, off, on, on, off, off, into you get five four, five hip hop thing. And in the composition I brought up eight bars in the composition. But um, to make that more not so obvious, the bass just continues playing. So you get different feels to each other. The composition I wrote for this, I want to the, the, the name of this band is Krupa, it's Kruger, it's me, and it's Patoka. Okay, then I had this idea, well, what they did in, what did Gene Krupa did, and what did Joe Jones did in the 30s, in Swing Air. They used riffs. Oh yeah, so I write compositions with riffs. Not with, of course there's always a melody, but it starts with riffs, because the idea, again, when you make a composition, you can ask yourself, not only musical what's the idea, but as well historic what's the idea. So you can take something or learn something from the past and put it in the now. That's why you learn it on school, I'm sure you also tell it, but the history, uh, what you know about your, your set or your drum set or your musical heritage is very, 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 very important. So you can learn stuff and put it in the now, because when you go out, the trains are faster, the airplanes are faster than in the 50s, 30s or 20s or whatever. But you can find the solutions of your composition, of your playing in the past. Not in the future, because you don't know what the future brings. So always search the past. Um, back to the composition. So, um, this composition was built on this kind of five clave and goes, in the end goes to a kind of five thing. Can we play that maybe? Can you play it? From um, uh, before the bridge, so we go. Uh, um, uh, we pl they pick it up for uh, um, for the bridge, uh, like uh, eight bars for the bridge. What's the time? Yeah, the um, but, uh, but, uh, um, the B, uh, the long nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you. Yeah, we can take the four bars before. So we play four bars four, and then we play to the the bridge. You know where I am? Yeah, exactly. There, but there, four bars before. Yeah, pop, 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 pop. Yeah, that that point. <laughs> I shift to the other beat, the five beat, not in five, but the beat of the equivalent of the five beat in five, like that. Everybody got this, eh? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay. So that I brought in the composition to make it more rhythmically, because I'm a drummer, I write from my instrument. And when Jasper writes a tune, he writes from his instrument. And when Rafa writes a tune, 
Oft he writes from his instrument. No, he never writes from your instrument. He writes from a block from one. Uh <laughs> block line. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And a kick. Otherwise, it will not ma uh, mi mix because he has no. He, I, he has a skin on his bass drum and I don't have it. Because when you have two, you get boom. So it already starts there. Then, when I play straight, he plays as loose. And while he plays straight, I can play loose and stretch. So that are the uh, main ideas. Then we divide it in playing horizontal. So you have two grooves who work with the same you know, who work together like our, you know, Brazilian music is, or salsa music, or Jack Brown music is, horizontal. And um, sometimes we play what we call synchron drumming, so we play everything the same. We didn't do it yet, but sometimes we have the same grooves, like spot on, and to make um, a thing that is very synchron, like two divers from a in the in the swimming pool for the Olympic Games. Um, Sound-wise, sometimes so you saw him play brushes, so he fills in actually the sizzles I play. I play a straight groove, this, the seven, the last piece we did, and he can fill it in. So he makes the kind of. So that means that every groove has a, has to need kind of flavor, and that's what we're searching for always. Um, then um, well, there can only be one bass player. The bass player has to be a one. He has to play on the one, and he has to play on the two, and the three, and the four, and the ground notes. So when you have another bass player, like once Miles Davis did in band, the bass player should play here and the low, there, the other bass player. But we didn't want to have that. So we have one bass player in the band who plays uh, Moog. It's the same idea, but Moog is a kind of sound. And the bass is more. So he can choose what he do. He does with the different sections of the, of the compositions. Um, oft, it's very funny that Sean the bass player, is choosing who he wants to play. So sometimes you feel that the bass is more loose towards Joost is playing and Rafael is playing, but sometimes it's more straight towards Anton or me. So that gives, he gives the kind of under layer of the, of the idea of the of the short notes or long notes or sustain. Um, so that's a little bit about sound that we do. The sound, you know, how to create the sound with so many musicians. Because they bring in electronics, there's more, more, more. So you have the, 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 the art of leaving out, is very, very important. Leaving out, leaving out, leaving out. Don't drag, don't drag. You got hit by a car or struck by lightning, pop, dead, boom. Is that the last note you played? Is that this did really the last note you played? Really? No. Go!
But now when you play softer and you play more out of the set, the technical question, you know, because the drum thing, you know, get this touch out of the set and start <coughs> into it. Because I see how your wrist go like this. But don't move your arm because there's too much tension, you know. When you do like this, it's too much tension. You never get it, it groovy. You know, try to make little movements. Yes? One. the sound because when you start here yeah. you already gave away so much yeah. you know make it more tippy Thing it goes to four, so the clouds hop. Put 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 cat cat cuckoo cat cat. It's two bars of four. Put put cat 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 cuckoo cat 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 cat. Ah, and then we go on again. Yeah, again. Yeah, play the play. Sean, can you help me to play the piece? That that. One, two, three.
Yeah, we're going to play another tune. Uh, and that um, has an intro uh, by Raphael. And which tune is it, actually? Oh, it's Secure. It's uh, one of the tunes I wrote. And we have an intro by Raphael and maybe have questions after that. Otherwise, we explain some and make you have some questions.
Thank you.